So right, I'm a pet groomer, I'm an avid crafter, and today I want to show you how to make this. It's a pet accessory bow for when you finish your dog grooming to send home with your puppies. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. What we need for this is three lengths of ribbon. Now this is an inch and, a, an inch and a half wide ribbon. It's four inches long and you'll need three lengths of that. You'll also need three lengths of a narrow ribbon. Oh, this is only a centimetre wide, 10 mil wide. And approximately three inches long. You don't have to be spot on with these, obviously. You can just play around with them, find out what length works for you. Um, and then you need a length of ribbon to tie around the dog's neck. This is only about six, seven mil wide. It's very fine. I always tell my owners not to leave the dogs on them. Don't leave it unattended. But um, if you can measure the dog's neck, that's great. If not, if you want to make them in bulk um, to use on your client's dogs, probably make them 26 inches long and you can just cut them to size to fit the dog when you pop them on the dog. And then I had a shop bought accessory as well, plenty of them out there, gems, jewels, well, lots of wonderful things. So to start with, take your three pieces and just round the edges. Not too fussy about this, it's it's quite tricky. And I just keep moving around, especially with this satin ribbon. But hey, it's an organic flower, huh? So then take your lighter and seal the edges. So just run the ribbon under the flame. Do the same on the other side. I've already pre-done these ones to save time. That's one. So just very quickly, don't leave it in there too long. You want to set fire to anything? This just stops them throwing. And some people will take them off and probably throw them in the bin. But some people actually keep them. Some of my clients say I've got a whole wardrobe full of items for the dogs. <laughs> so well, <clears throat> while I've got the uh, I try out sealing the edges, do the same on the ribbon. So do all, all six edges of the thinner ribbon. And then we'll take one of the petals and just plait it. Give it a little pleat, sorry, a plait, a pleat in the middle. it looks something like that and then take a band or a clip just to hold it do the same with the second one plate these these are just little children's hair slides you can use a peg use an elastic band And then the same with the third one. And then we need to pinch them all together. So sit them on top of each other. So when you have them all together, just pinched up together like that. Wrap a band around the middle. Band 
that's just one of those um, children's loan bands, the bands that they use for making the bracelets with. Okay, you need quite a small band, you don't want anything too, too chunky, or you'll have too big a gap in there. So that's, that's what it looks like at this stage. And then I like to take the tie. So this is the length of ribbon that we're going to use to tie it around the dog's neck. And fold it in half, find the centre point, and wrap it around the centre and tie it in a knot at the back. So just a simple knot. Okay, and that's why you need quite a thin one. You can tie it with a piece of string. Whatever works for you. Okay. So now we've got the, the tie attached. And then we take these thinner lengths and fold them in half. Find the center point, fold it in half. I'm using the hot glue, but I use the cool melt because the hot glue really hurts <laughs> if you get it on your skin. So find the centre point, fold it in half, teeny tiny dab, and do that to all three. Oops, that one's come undone. Same with the last one, centre point, fold it in half, tiny dab of glue, again, and I can't stress this enough, use cool melt, because the low melt glue, because the hot melt really hurts. Okay, now I'm going to layer these up, so I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the top edge, there. Dab that one to that one. Can you see? Oops. And the same with the last one, dab of glue. Layer it. Now these always kind of develop as I go because some of them, I've just left them like this and just added an accessory and you can tie it onto the dog like that. So you don't have to go any further than that, but I just like the layering effect. So I've got those, I've got them whichever way. So blob of glue on the back. that onto there. Okay. And then the accessory I'm going to stick on top. So a blob of hot glue. Low melt glue. Okay. That's it. That's so easy. And that's all there is to it. Here we go, and here again is what it looks like on my model. <laughs> there you go. If you want to um, add it, just use it as an embellishment. If you watched my last video, you would have seen how I made the bows. And these also look pretty cute if you make them and add them on top of the bow. So obviously without the tie, just glue them on top and you get a really pretty layered up look which is quite nice as well so really it's just all down to your imagination so have fun with those thanks for watching